Lieutenant Governor Reeves refutes allegations his office applied political pressure to greenlight a frontage road near his residence in Flowood. This time, Reeves refers to a letter quoting MDOT's executive director. Thank you for joining us. I'm Margaret Ann Carter. And I'm Terrence Friday. Gerald Harris was at that news conference, and Gerald, we understand that he says he is not legally required to hand over communication documents from his office or the Senate, but he's choosing to. That is correct. Reeves stated he has no obligation to produce any documents concerning the Frontage Road project, but says he wants to clear up any confusion and put this in the past. I, like I assume the Attorney General does, want to resolve any outstanding questions about this project for the public's interest, and therefore I am voluntarily responding to his request. Reeves also said this statement from MDOT's executive director, Melinda McGrath, the letter clears up un any uncertainty surrounding the project. I have never indicated any inappropriate, unacceptable, or unlawful communication with a member of the legislature. Governor Phil Bryan tweeted his response in support of the lieutenant governor. It reads, the political game is over. Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves deserved more than a few apologies. Coming up at 5, we will take a closer look at this letter sent to McGrath to the lieutenant governor's office, including a portion where she expressed unusual communication coming from Reeves staff.